Welcome back to another video and those who do not know who this is for those who do not know this face for those who are not familiar what what this is I know per in Jesus in Jesus name no more period no more per in Jesus name yeah that's how we roll that's how we are rolling starting 2024 we are heading to 2024 that's where we're heading to in jesus name everything in jesus name okay enough with that <clears throat> with the energy we are episode what nine episode nine vlogmas bible study edition today we are going in first corinthians chapter 13 all about them love them love love guys love um today we are talking about love in first corinthians chapter 13 verse 1 to 13 oh okay okay so let us get into it as you like my little twist puff with the strands of hair out, I stretched out, stretched out my hair, but this is what like came out because like the top part didn't want to lay flat. So I was like, okay, but this part was at least like somehow, somewhat coming down. So I was like, okay, let me just like, you see now, look, look at this. Well, let me just like tie up the rest and then leave the ones in front and then lay the ones at the back down because when I stretched it out I made my hair wet and then I used the scrunchie tied it up all the way like this so this was like literally what I was going with and then at the back same thing tied the scrunchie going like stretching it out so this is what came out it's not too bad i think this will be what i'll be dealing with for a couple of weeks and we'll just see we'll see how it goes okay let us get into it okay the title of this is love is indispensable and yet i will show you the most excellent way if I speak in the tongue of men or of angels but do not have love, I am only a resounding gong or a clanging symbol. If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, if I have faith that can move mountains but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give all I possess to the poor and give over my body to hardship that I may boast but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongings. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices in the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always preserves. Love never fails, but where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will be stilled. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But when completeness comes, what is in part disappears. 
When I was a child, I talked like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. When I became a man, I put all, I put the ways of childhood behind me. For now we see only a reflection as a mirror. When we shall see face to face, now I know in part. Then I shall, then I shall know fully, even as I am fully known. And now these three remains: faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. So, um. I want to first touch the chapter 4 which says love is patient, love is kind and then it just mentions like what love is. I have no idea how many times I've heard that, how many times I've read that, how many times I have looked at it but only like towards the end of this year I understood I mean, so, so it might seem obvious for a lot of us, or obvious to a lot of us. I mean, yeah, obviously. I mean, what I'm trying to say is, it might seem obvious, like, okay, you know, love is kind. That means you're supposed to show kindness to someone you claim to love. You're supposed to, uh, you're not supposed to boast when you love someone. You're supposed to be patient with the person you, have, the person you love. You're supposed to... You're not proudful to the person you love. Or you're not supposed to dishonor the person you love. You're not supposed to be quick to anger to the person you love. You um, what else? You're not supposed to keep record of wrongdoing. And there's a reason why I'm stretching that one out the most is because I feel like a lot of us we always say, "Oh, I love this person. I love this person." But when they do something wrong, we are not going to forget it. We might say, oh yeah, I forgive them. Oh yeah, they're forgiven, whatever. But we're always going to remember their wrongdoings. And then when they repeat that mistake, and then it's a thing of like, yeah, you keep on doing this. And I always tell you to stop, blah, 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 blah. And then we like, um, what is the word? We downgrade them using their mistakes instead of loving them and saying, oh no, I just I would just like it if you were to stop this instead of um you know because sometimes it might not be a thing necessarily a thing of like they want to constantly do that specific thing it might be a thing of them struggling to stop it so it might take some time for them to stop it but we are not gonna we might not we might think oh it's, it's something easy to stop but maybe it, it it became a habit for them. So obviously for you to stop a habit, you need to start a new habit to stop the old habit. So they need to find ways to help them. Or I think better ways to do handle the situation is to offer them help. And if they are seeking for that help, if they want the help, they will receive the help as well. So it's like a thing of... Um, they, they, they have to come to you willingly and be like, okay, I struggle with A, B, and C. It would be nice if you just remind me kindly. Like it says, love is kind. Kindly remind them, okay, I struggle with this. I struggle with that. But it would be nice if you just remind me and be like, okay, yeah, I see you are constantly repeating this. But can you please stop? Because if someone is constantly told to stop in a nice manner then they are obviously going to stop because it's not a thing of like they want to do it because they can see it's not it's not something you are happy about but like you would like them to stop so it's like okay I'm going to try to stop but then sometimes like the other person might not see it as them trying to stop it it might just be seen as something like they are constantly doing and then it's like oh you're always doing this you're always doing that you're always doing this you're always doing that but then sometimes when we are in that situation of like you're always doing this, you're always doing that, we can also just be like, okay, um, you're doing this, but can you please stop? But then also the other person always also need to be willing to stop. It's not a one sided thing. It's like they say, two. It takes two to tango. So, when so actually when I came across this, um. What had happened was, someone was like, 
love is kind so we need to show kindness to the person we love and to me i always read love is kind love is patient love is you know slow to anger and all stuff but i never really thought of it that way that's why i'm saying i feel like it might have been obvious to a lot of you guys that obviously love is kind so we should both show kindness but until someone actually said it like love is kind we're supposed to show the kindness to this other person we love or even all those other people because the, the most important commandment in the bible is to love your neighbor as much as you love yourself meaning we're supposed to love everyone with kindness and without boasting without envying without dishonoring without self-seeking like we shouldn't self-seek ourselves and um, without being angry without keeping records um and without disliking in evil but with rejoice and truth and protecting each other like everyone this is how you're supposed to look at it every single one even that neck the person you're sitting next to in class every single day your co-worker or that person that annoys you like 24 7 that is the kind of love we're supposed to be putting out there the love of jesus and unless we are we read this we will not know what love is supposed to look like and once we read it and we understand it and we apply to our lives this is just gonna be written words until we take the initiative to actually apply it into our lives so that is today's reading love love is patient love is kind it does not keep wrongdoing and i this is a word for me as well because um i mean it's something i need to like take in as well because yesterday i went for a walk and i saw this la uh what was love joy or is it faith with what sorry guys yeah faith hope and love that's what i saw on the back of someone's car and I was like, oh my days, that's First Corinthians chapter 13, the chapter of love. And, um, and this morning when I was like, okay, what am I, what is the chapter for today? What is the book for today? And he was like, Corinthians 13. And I've been wanting to read Corinthians 13. I was just not too sure if I if it's like if it's something i want to just read on and touch on or if it was like something god was telling me to do so i never i i was supposed to ask him but i just just like mm -hmm. and then yesterday i saw that on the back of someone's car and i was like um okay that's first corinthians um chapter 13 and then um this morning when I was like, yeah, I read Corinthians chapter 13. I was like, chapter 13? And then I heard 14. I was like, wait, so is it 13 or 14? And then I heard 15. And I was like, but 15, I've been reading 15. Like, I feel like most of the readings I've been doing, it's just been chapter 15, chapter 15. And I was like, okay, I don't know if I'm... And then, and then he was like, okay, fine. Six, uh, uh, no, he didn't say 16. It wasn't 16, it was 19. And I'm like, wait, is there even a 19 in one Corinthians? And and I go see, and there was nothing. There wasn't um, chapter 19. It ends till 16. And then, and then I was like, I told you chapter 13, and you keep on, you know, disregarding what I'm saying. So then I went to 15, read 15, and I, I just felt like, yeah, it's a nice book, but like, there's something not it's not hitting like most of the board when i read them i'm like mm, okay i see where this is going mm, okay like okay this is you know you just feel it like it's talking to you so and then i decided and then i said like, okay let me just read 13 and it's just it's something that you put on my heart before, like earlier so let me just 
read it. So, yeah, that was the the chapter for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, don't forget to read your Bible and pray, guys. Really make time for the Lord. He may time to protect you and cover you with His blood. He may time to also spend time with Him and have an intimate time with Him. Don't just like pray and read the Bible just because like you want to you feel like it's something you're supposed to do. Do it because you wanna do it. Do it with intention. Yeah. Do it with intention. But that is it guys. Um I hope you guys have an amazing December holiday and see you guys tomorrow. Bye.